previously on Spooky Legends of Susanville. Uh, today we're taking a, a short little walk through uh, Inspiration Point Park. The story I had heard is that a, uh, a teenage girl, uh, uh, upset about a relationship, came up here uh, and jumped headfirst off of the point here. And that uh, supposedly uh, uh, a girl wearing a gray dress is seen up here at night. And, uh, the second story I heard is that the, uh, the ghost that haunts this place uh, was a woman that uh, committed suicide by driving off the hillside here in a vehicle uh, with her children in it. Um, I have found no evidence to this or the first story. I can't find any records. Usually I can find something that led to that, but I, I, I came up with nothing. So at this point, I, I'm kind of thinking that these stories, maybe they're just pure uh, urban legend, uh, not true. <laughs> Yeah, I never know. We might have to come up here some night with the uh, the spirit box. Founded along a wagon trail over 160 years ago, the small town of Susanville, California is seemingly home to countless spirits. From haunted homes and cemeteries, to mysterious tunnels and an abandoned hospital. I'm Kenny, your captain, and welcome to Spooky Legends of Susanville. Oh, hello everyone. I'm Kenny, your captain, and uh, welcome to Spooky Legends of Susanville. It is the uh, last week of September, and it is almost a full moon. Not quite. Almost there. But yeah, I am uh, back at Inspiration Point. Um, uh, a few months ago, Missy and I visited this place during the day. I talked a little bit about some of the history I had found. Uh, there's really not much I could come across. Of course, there's the one legend about the girl in gray. Uh, supposedly she was a, a young girl, uh, heartbroken over a relationship and, uh, she committed suicide by jumping off the, uh, the point. Uh, the other version I heard is that a woman had, uh, driven off the cliff up here. Well, a friend of mine and a viewer, uh, was able to actually give me a name and a date. Uh, a woman by the name of, uh, Sarah, uh, Rydell. Uh, in, uh, 1998, uh, apparently, uh, she drove off of, a uh, Pigeon Cliff, which is uh, a Highway 36 just below Inspiration Point. Um, I looked that up. I could find nothing. Well, I was also given a name for the girl that jumped off the cliff, uh, a girl by the name of uh, Leftwich. Um, I could not find anything on Google search. Um, I actually came up with this link right here. And in it, you can see it says, uh, Youths Dead on Inspiration Point. I clicked on this link and it had a, a lot of interesting history, all these short little articles and uh, yeah, there's a lot of great stuff, but nothing on Inspiration Point, not that I could see. Uh, so yes, I'm uh, here back to uh, do a little ghost hunting, a little spirit box session. Uh, of course, uh, anytime I do this, there's no guarantee we're going to find anything. I've gotten some new lights. The last so many times I've gone on on a ghost hunt, I've been way under equipped as far as lighting and yeah some of the stuff like my gopro uh it really doesn't capture low light all that well so i got this little guy here really cool thing i found at a uh, big five here in town it is bright as hell lightweight just clips to my hat i saw some cheaper ones uh but they were a little big and bulky uh, well if it's small and and lightweight which i can barely tell it's there uh, yeah, it just makes it easier, especially with, you know, hauling around my other equipment. I also got a proper lantern. Yes, again, bright as hell, rechargeable. Um, yeah, all my other lanterns, uh, they're bad, you know, they're getting older. The batteries don't last as long. They're just not as bright. So, yeah, it was time for an upgrade. And, of course, here we got the ghost hunting gear. All right, then. We're going to head on out here, head on out to the point. Doesn't quite come across on film, but yeah, it's almost full. A couple more days. Oh, not bad on the headlight. Lighting it all up pretty nicely. Nothing like a stroll through the woods. 
at night during spooky season. All right. This is the cement slab. You and Missy came and saw during the day. So it'll be interesting to come look at. One of my viewers commented that I should do a spirit box session here. I might. We're going to go out to the point first. Here's the lights of the town. Susanville, California at night. You can see Main Street running down the middle there. All the way out to where the Ford dealership is. Levitt Lake. There's the prisons out there, High Desert State Prison. And I believe up here we got, I believe that's the college. No, that's the hospital. No, that is the college. That is the college. Hospitals are up the hill, yes. And then further on, you can see up there, this is the upper reservation, the rancheria. Down below us, Highway 36, and the old hospitals off in that direction. And see this little, little. Where's my finger at? There's my finger. That little patch of light there. That's the parking lot for the swimming pool, I believe. Really nice. I've never been up here at night. Let's get set up. Plan I have is to do pretty much what I did on the doorsteps of the old courthouse. So I'm going to have this guy set up in the middle on this bendy tripod. Tripod, excuse me. And I'm going to take a Mr. GoPro. This thing folds out into a stand. I'm gonna have it fixed on the EMF reader. That way I can have my hands free with the, uh, with the spirit box. Whoa, yeah, okay, that is bright. Let's turn her down a notch or two. Uh, well, a little bit of a failure on my end. I uh, I forgot to charge the GoPro. Yeah, it's dead. <laughs> Some improvising. I've got this set up right in front of the, the camera here, so I'll make it, make it easier for editing also. The, the dual camera thing looks really cool, but it, it's kind of hard in editing, especially with my old software. And uh, yeah, my laptop's on its last legs. Just let it go through. I'm gonna turn on our guy here. No readings. Is there anyone that would like to talk? Oh, yeah, there's something there. Can you say that again? Say it again, please. Yeah. Use this thing to speak loud and clear. Yeah. 
Who are you? Oh, yeah. Yeah, keep going. Well, we got something here. Come on, guy. Who are you? What's your name? Wow, full pins. We got full bars here, guys. Did you say my wife? Ah, interesting. You said, did you lose someone up here? That sounded like a man talking. That was really deep. God, you're, yeah, you're talking all right. I'm sorry. You're feeling grief? Did someone die up here? Well, we got something up here, yeah? I swear, I keep talking at the worst times. Yeah? Do you say I know? Just do it? Just do what? What do you want me to do? Jump off? Are you telling me to jump off this thing? I'm not jumping off this thing. Did you say it? Oh, wow. You're kind of nasty, huh? You're telling me to jump off this thing and cause bodily harm to myself. Is that what you said? Jump off? Yes, you did. Did you jump off? Say yes, you did one more time, and I know that you jumped off here. Yeah? Here. What's ready and what's not? Huh? So what happened? So if you jumped off this cliff, this point here, died, why would you want others to do so? Later? Are you saying goodbye to me? Oh, come on now, you're very talkative, really active. You made this thing bury its needles. There's no power up here. Radio station comes in strong. That's usually why I use the uh, AM station. Oh, there we go. Come on now. Say something. Use this. Say something. Give me a name. What did you say? So obviously, yeah, there's coincidence. Well, 
I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna leave you be here. I appreciate it if you don't follow me, okay? All right, goodbye then. Okay, wow, I came here expecting absolutely nothing. And yeah, God. Full bars, fully pinned all the way.